Last month, we hosted GDevelop's first official game jam with the theme Build and or Rebuild. It ran for 10 days, and in the end, 882 people joined, and 216 games were submitted. There were two types of prizes for this jam. A one-year premium membership to GDevelop for the top 20 community voted winners, and a cash prize for those in the top 5 judges picks. And since we obviously didn't have enough time to playtest over 200 games, we played the top 20 community voted games along with some others that stood out from the crowd. Since we have so many games to show off in this video, I'm going to try to speed through them and give a brief but hopefully accurate description of each one. So let's begin. Beginning with the community picks, in 20th place, we have Build Up by Zip Z, a relaxing block stacking game. Alive by Saki Saki. Stayin' alive, stayin' alive, ah, 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 ah. Fissalis by Holy Pangolin. Now you know what a balafan is. Primal by Mr. Pandori. You ride a dinosaur into battle. Dragon's Horde by Limnirus. The humans are being jerks again. Build Shooter by Pandako. Space Invaders with a bigger budget. Sub Colony by Jouet. More reasons to stay out of the ocean. Colony Crawler by Victress Games. Learning to walk is for suckers. iRobot GDX22 by Lumberbot. Space meets resource management puzzle game. Space Odyssey Away and Beyond by Lion in a Box Games. Space meets Roguelite. Diocesis by Elam Andre. City building inside of a painting. Techno Towers by Fatal Exit. Block stacking to techno music. Treta Tetris by Gustavo Raposo and Leandro Dota. Tetris, but with cannons. Northburg by Bill and Ray Ark. Pixelated Age of Empires. To Do by Team Cry Pineapple. When you submit your game unfinished. Chaos Mike by Tomek06. Woodsman versus Rockets and Things. Village Keeper by Minzao Games. When a tank somehow isn't enough. Ruined Ruins 
by Lee B. Games. The kind of game that happens when a crossword puzzle gets an arc budget. Brick City Earthquake Rescue by Rami and Timu, or Tullanvaki. A game where no house is built to code. And finally, Hero Builder by Vegetato, an auto runner game where you have magical building powers. Next are some honorable mentions. These are games that didn't make it into the top 20 community voted games, but we felt that they deserved a shout out. The Last of Cats by Andre and Willian. Holtz. If cats ever got a hold of guns. Sparkfly by Dr. Music. Where you get good at music or you die trying. The Gem Ball by Epic Alios. It's sort of pinball without the pinball machine. Magical Galley Moon by Wandering Ghost. No, I don't need the gem golem, but I want the gem golem. Wear a Helmet by Nosen Nada, which is kind of Angry Birds meets Jenga. Microbes by Two Faces Studio, where you can dress up as GDevelop. And finally, we get to the cash prize winners. These aren't necessarily games from the top 20 community winners, and they're not necessarily in the same order. But these games were the favorite picks from the GDevelop team. Starting with number five. Hero Builder by Vegetato. Your love is taken away by an evil witch, and you must use your magic building powers to chase after her. It's an engaging auto runner with the twist of having to build parts of the level as you go. Number 4. Ruined Ruins by Libby Games. This is a very polished, mobile-oriented word game where you use a pool of letters and a pre-built structure to put together words that make sense both vertically and horizontally. Number three, Superstruct by Fadot, a shmup game where you build and rebuild your ship with points you earned on previous runs of the game. Each run you gain more and more points until finally you get ridiculously overpowered. And in second place, Northburg by Bill and Ray Ark. In this game, you're in charge of building a settlement and keeping it safe from an invading army, where you need to balance expansion and defense while ensuring that your people don't starve. And the number one judge's pick, To Do by T. 
Team Cry Pineapple. The programmer got lazy and didn't finish parts of their game. So you, as the player, need to build lines of code using an event system very similar to the one in GDevelop to get through broken or unfinished parts of the game to get to the end. Now that you've all created these wonderful games, if you'd like more people to get the chance to play them, please publish them to leluo.io, GDevelop's new game hosting platform. There's a link explaining how in the description, along with a form to fill out to ensure that those in charge of accepting games see yours. All of the games in this video will be accepted if their developers submit the game, and all other games submitted through the form below will be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis. This jam has been an experience to remember. Developers from all over the world came together and created some amazing games. Thank you so much to everybody involved. The game developers, moderators, judges, and those who hung around to playtest and help out. It is all very appreciated. If you didn't get a chance to take part in the jam, or just want to get another shot, Keep a lookout for more events we'll be hosting in the future. Maybe next time, we'll be showcasing a game that you made.